Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today we're going to be listening to you guys and you guys wanted to see a shorter version of a wolf cut. There's loads of longer wolf cuts all over the internet, but I think you lose a lot of the uh, the definition or the severity, but also the softness. When you go too long, I think it just looks a little bit bleh. But today I'm going to be showing you one that is a lot shorter, something around about here, um, opening up the face, loads of texture, and also a question that I got asked was, if I could um, put in a blunt line down the bottom, they, they would prefer then it all sort of straggly. Now that is the, the sort of trend with the shag, the mullet, the wolf cut, they're all very, um, organic, raw, soft edges, frayed edges. But today I'm gonna to put a stronger line in down the bottom and I'm also gonna do a shorter wolf cut for you. So I'm gonna be doing something as if I was doing it in the salon. So I have got my mannequin wet, but it is super simple, two sections, um, and I'm gonna be bringing it forward for you guys to just to follow along. So let's get into the haircut. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do a central section down the head. So. Straight down there to the nose. Let's hope that's centered. Not quite. There we go. So we're gonna put in we're gonna put in a central section. Through there. So so simple. From the high point of the head straight through the middle. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna find that high point there, drawing a line down to the back of that ear. And then just separate the front from the back. And we're gonna do exactly the same on the other side. So high point there, section down. the back of that ear. So we've got a section, got a section there, got a section there. I'm just gonna clip that out of the way. So what we've got is we've got a high point section straight to the forehead, splitting those both sides there. And then we have got at the back, from the high point back of the ear, high point back of the ear. And now we're just gonna put in our guide. So we're gonna go quite short. And all I'm gonna do is take a middle section. Like that. And we're gonna go to the bridge of the nose. Should we go that way? Yeah. Finger resting on the bridge of the nose. And then just cut that off. So you can see what this is going to look like. There's our guide. Now, section that out of the way. You can put a clip in there if you want to, I will. So what we're going to do is just going to bring section down the head like that, pull it forward. Straight out from the head. So we're coming just like that, straight line away from the head, putting it straight forward. My guide is underneath, which is just there. And we're cutting a straight line, like so. And again, straight down. Straight forward. Straight 
straight out from the head like that. And we're just cutting that across there. And you should be able to see that shape happening. Now when we come to the sides, we want to get bring it to our guide and then twist. So what we're doing is we are over directing this forward and then we're twisting it which will give us a little bit more length and then we just cut it to our guide and again straight out from the head and you'll see that shape happening there so again straight down coming forward like so And what you're getting is that shape like that. Extend and over direct that straight forward to our guide, as you can see there, and then just cutting that straight line. And then what we'll do is we just want to style that fringe away from the face and now you can see all of that texture all coming in there. Same thing on the other side. So let's take that clip out. Clip this side out of the way. And again, the draw down. Put it straight out from the head. And go. Straight out. You can see as I'm working down here, I'm just getting a bit low, so I go just here and I'm just working around that head shape. In the section down, pull it forward to the guide, which is there. Now what you could do with this, to get more length, you could over direct up or elevate, you could bring it up to here. But I want to do a shorter version today, so I just want to get it sitting around there. So pull forward to my guide, and then twist into the guide, and then using that for down here. See the guide just there. Yeah. So we want to be sitting quite heavy through there. And that sort of shape is what we're going for. So we can get all of this shortness around here. Just that really nice shaping around the eyes. Let's move on to the back. What we're going to do quite simply. I'm going to take a bit of this section from the front and then again here. I'm just going to comb it back. I'm just going to comb it back into this section. Clip that out of the way. Clip this side out of the way. And then we're going to draw a back section, which I'll show you in a second. So 
So I've just got this middle section running down the back. So that's split there, that's split there. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna elevate up to the section I just brought back from the front. So that's that there. And then here's our length. So we're gonna put it up to the ceiling. There it is. And then blunt cut to that. Again, elevate. Going all the way down this section. And just elevating up to there until we run out of hair to cut. So more there. Last bit of the middle section. Bring it straight up to the ceiling. You can see there's none, just some little bits of dust. And that's that section done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna comb it into this side as my guide. out next section through there and again bringing it up to our guide which is here so the guide is sitting around about there Going to blunt cut. So this haircut is all blunt cut and we'll put some softness in after and then we'll just bring our next section up. So we run out of hair, there's still a little bit there but that bit dropped out. So Next section through there. Next section through there. You can see the guide. And what we're going to do is just cut along there. And this is the same on both sides. So there till we run out of hair. You see there's just some little stragglers there. If we bring up all of this back section and see what we can bring up take off. And there's nothing really again, little bits of dust. And there we go. What we'll do is we'll section back down there and we'll throw it into this side and we'll do exactly the same on this side. Right there. Just follow down the head. Next section, put it up to the guides. You can see that heavy guide there now. Down to the bottom. So next section, 
bring it up to our guide and we're running out of hair now so this is the last of the sections there we go just little bits of dust and there it is that is a shorter version of a wolf cut now all i'm going to do is go in and put the length in but i'll show you what it looks like now without it There's the back, just nicely layered. Look at all that texture in there. Loads of it. You've got that really nice shape through there. Just a different way of cutting it, that's all it is. But what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take this length off up to around about the bottom of the, the mannequin stand, the mannequin's neck. Give us just checking where the layers fall to because we still want a lot of the shagginess in there and I quite like this layer here so that's going to sit there so I'm going to go an inch below the mannequin's neck Maintain the length. And there we go. That is the length put in. I'm just going to get it blow dried and styled, and you better check it out after. And there we have it a shorter version of the wolf cut. You can see all the texture. This is uh, Structure Beach by Joyco. This is just a salt spray that I will spritz through, let it dry off naturally, but you can see all that texture holding up that hair there. You want to get some more there, just hold it up there and support it. But there is so much texture in this haircut. So there it is, that is a shorter version of the wolf haircut. The popular haircut made from TikTok to a super cool trend. But I'll just refresh you on what we did. Middle parting, high point of the head, back of the ear, back of the ear. And then we cut to the bridge of the nose. And then we brought all of those sections forward. If it was on the side, we just twisted it where it was living, down here. And if it's living up there, we brought it to there. On the back, we took a section out of each side brought it up, cut it blunt, and the reason I cut it, and the reason I cut it blunt was I wanted all of that texture in there. Now the reason this isn't a mullet 
or a shag is because it's a lot more condensed layers. When you look at mullets and shags, they're a lot more loose, a lot more free. I mean, mullets, you've got the real shortness around the face, no real connection as such. With shags, you've got a lot more shagginess, a lot more like whis wispy ends and, and yeah, that texture running through. Wolf cuts are very strong in texture, but there's just a lot of it. And what you work on, what you want to work on with wolf cuts is volume and body, which gives it that lift, that texture. And you can see there, I really like the short fringe as well. I think it works really well. Whereas where with the other wolf cuts I've done, it's a lot sort of longer, a bit more um, sort of bangs, real disconnected bangs as such. But this is probably one of my favorites to be honest. Absolutely love it. So if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Comment down below of what you think to this version of the wolf cut. Uh, is it something that looks quite simple, complex? Would you like something different, broken down a bit more? Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, it really means a lot. I'm on the, the hunt for 20K. That is my next goal, 20K subscribers. So if you can help with that, I appreciate it. Until next time, I'll see you on the next video.